tank. Big, tough, powerful. How'd you like to knock one of them out, soldier? It's not hard to do if you've got the right weapon for the job and a team that knows how to use it. Now let's take up sighting and aiming. The first step is range estimation. It should be constantly practiced by estimating the ranges to prominent points on the terrain which have been previously measured. Estimation of the range to moving targets should be especially practiced. At short ranges, the rocket is very accurate. The most effective ranges are from 1 to 200 yards or less. Due to the high trajectory, it is difficult to make hits at ranges over 300 yards. At moving targets, estimation of range and leads are Siamese twins. You can't separate them. In order to hit a moving target, you have to aim ahead of it, at the spot where the target will be when your rocket gets there. To do this, you must lead the target. One lead equals the length of a tank. In your training, you will be taught the exact leads to use to hit a moving target at various ranges and speeds. You should remember these leads, but if you forget, Here's a simple method of getting the same result. First, estimate your lead. Fire a rocket using that lead and watch where it goes. Then use the distance between the target and the spot where the rocket went as your correction. For example, if you underestimate the speed of the target, you'll hit behind it. So use the length of your miss as your correction and add it to your estimated lead. This gives you your corrected lead. It's a simple method. It makes no difference if your first rocket is in front of the target or behind. You still take the distance between the target and the spot where the rocket went as the correction. Add the correction if the shot went behind the tank. Subtract it if your first shot went in front.
If you ever want to punch a hole in a pillbox or a wall, remember the rocket. And it can do a pretty job on other vehicles than tanks. One rocket in the cylinder block and the engines ready for the scrap heap.
Well, that's it. The bazooka, with these improvements, is easier for you to handle and deadlier for the enemy to handle. Now learn and remember what you've seen in this film. You're going to be over there yourself. Thank <laughs> you.